okay, stop it. Why you be playing so much? I'm, you, you just play too much. I'm just so tired of you playing. Ladies and gentlemen, I was just playing. Gentlemen and ladies, because you know, I was a fool. Okay, so your heart broken. You sit around moping, crying and crying. What you say, you even think about dying? Well, before you do anything rash. Don't do nothing rash. Like wiggling out that seat. Uh-huh. Did this. You know what? Everybody plays a fool. Sometimes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main ingredient. And they sang him. Everybody's playing fools. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. I did a video last evening before going to sleep at, what was it? Almost 10 o'clock, waking up at five. If you're doing the math, that's seven hours. So it ain't like I don't get no sleep. I get sleep. I don't get rest. I don't get to the REM state like I did last night and the day before. When I get to the REM state, the world better watch its man. So, I've been taking my natural sleeping pills. That junk does work. It's all Terrell. I can guarantee you it works because I wouldn't be able to spend all of those hours. And I have, let me do this because I ain't making no excuses for it. I have muscular dystrophy, people. Diagnosed with it in 2008. Okay, but I don't just have one muscle disease. I have, pay attention, three stupid muscle diseases. Two forms of muscular dystrophy, which they say is an impossible. <laughs> I did the impossible, mama. And myasthenia gravis. You don't know what myasthenia gravis is? It's called MG. Go ahead and look it up. And look and see if there's been any documented cases of somebody having three stupid muscle diseases. Yay. And it is believed that they are competing against each other, which is why I'm still here, mama. I ain't going nowhere. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, I don't need none of y'all worrying about my health and wishing me well wishes and all that. I got a God. You know, my God is the richest person ever. And there'll never be anybody richer than him. Whew. Man, and he gives me what I need. He gives me money when I'm in need. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, he not only, when I go to him, sincerely, like I did the other day when we had those, I thought it was 80 mile an hour winds. You guys saw the video when I said I have to get off this phone. I have a pole that is four feet in the ground. We dug the hole with an auger, four feet in the ground. That wind was blowing so hard that it gave me an extra inch and a half around all sides of the pole, which was in cement. It separated it from the cement. Imagine that. I'm out there battling, trying to keep that thing straight because if it falls, Hey, that windmill was, it's a wind generator, was moving so fast that if one of those blades had hit the ground and spun off and hit me, I would have been like, oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Looks like I'm not going to be able to get to that phone to call for help. Oh, well. Well, that was the last video I'll ever do. Okay, that's what I would have been doing. Oh, this is the Temptations and the Supreme singing each other's song. Okay. They, they were on, I think, the Ed Sullivan show or somebody's show. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, not only did it take me almost two hours, I had to go and use one of my other, I couldn't drive the car I just got. I had to go drive the original car. And the battery was dead. So I had to go and get the charger, hook up the extension cord, put the charger on max, to start the vehicle, then in mud, in mud, take that vehicle and use it to put against the pole and then use my tie downs 
to strap onto the pole to attach it to something metal so it would not move using the car and using the straps to keep it sturdy. Digging a hole around the pole again, getting rid of the loose cement and putting more cement down there, quick set cement and letting it set. Two hours. I did not know it was a hundred miles an hour. I knew that something was going on. They said hurricane force winds. They weren't lying. That's what I experienced. And I tried to get one of my neighbors, hey, can you come and give me a hand with this? Because I can't do this by myself. It's too much. It, it, it's too much wind. It, it's, it, this is way too much. I can't handle this by myself. I need somebody to study this, study that, so that I can get this done. Hey, I'm locked in too. I can't even get out of my property because there's so much mud and water. Okay, no, no, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. And at that moment, I went to my rich God because there's a poor, 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 poor God. I, I don't, I don't worship him, but the rich one, that's the one I worship. Okay. And so I went to him and I said, Hey, I can't do this. I need your help. I said, there's no way in the world. And literally at that moment, I stopped worrying. I walked into the house, took my time, grabbed the charger, got the extension cord, walked, not ran, walked over. It ain't raining right now. It wasn't raining. It was just the wind. Walked over, put the charger on, knowing that, that I'm standing right in the path of if that thing fell, it will fall on me and hit the car, blah, blah, blah. And so I just set up the charge. I went and got straps, had to locate them because I forgot where I put them. And I started strapping things down, got back, started that car up. Now, I remember I'm in mud and I just said, I'm just going to take it slow. And everybody knows when you're in mud, you don't drive slow. Oh, Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, drove right on over there, took my time, pulled it backwards, pulled it forward, turned, pulled it backwards again, pulled it forward again, put it up against the pole, leaned there. Went ahead and started it, leaned a little bit more, and left the car there all night long, like Lionel Richie said. And when I finally finished the last strap, I came into the house and I said, thank you, Jehovah. I knew you was going to help me. I said, but why I got to do all the work? Literally, that was my conversation with him. I said, you helped me, but I had to do all the work. Look at how tired I am. Okay? Because I was tired. Hey. No, no, y'all don't understand. This is Kelly Clarkson. And ladies and gentlemen, I need you guys to understand. That's my relationship with my God. Okay. It was a lot of work. I was exhausted. <laughs> Literally. I was, I was wore out. But now I understand why. Because that was over a hundred miles an hour. So when you hear about some stupid atmospheric river... That wind is coming y'all way, Kansas. That wind is coming y'all way, Ohio. Y'all better be ready. Y'all had better be ready. They say the winds are going to die down when it hit the mountains. Man, y'all know winds don't die down. I'm in the mountains. Y'all know winds don't die down when they hit mountains. <laughs> they go through these valleys that I live in, and they be like, hey, look at that fresh meat. Okay. Y'all y'all don't want to know. Don't, mm -mm, don't play with this one. So for those of y'all who are worried about me, y'all ain't need to worry about me. Hey, y'all remember that thing in the scriptures where, you know, uh, Peter said after Jesus was telling them, hey, uh, y'all, I'm about to be put to death. Yeah, these sons of men, man, these fools going to, man, they're going to do some damage. And Peter like, hey, Lord, come here for a second. Hey, homie, what you talking about? Man, you ain't got to worry about that. Ain't nothing like that going to happen to you. Man, I got you, okay? And Jesus had to say, Peter, you stupid. But first of all, you need to get behind me because you acting like Satan, fool. Uh-uh. I told you I have to go through this because the scripture said I have to go through this. What are you talking about? Are you trying to go against prophecy? Are you trying to have the scriptures not fulfill themselves? Then what am I here for? Y'all remember that conversation? Or, oh, some of y'all read it in the King James Version and, and translated like this. Get thee behind me, Satan. 
Okay, but that was the conversation, all right? Well, I've had at least six people tell me after I told them what I know to be true, to be my future, and I said, this is for my protection, it's not for my hurt, that these individuals are saying that I won't have that destiny at all. And I'm like, y'all need to shut up. I'm not telling you for you to tell me how things should be or how you wish something different for me. Something different for me is being there and watching all of that death and people dying. That I cannot handle. Just like I told my God the other day that I couldn't handle that by myself. And he made it so I didn't have to do it by myself. I was able to use a car. I was able to use straps. And I was able to use lows in the wind to get things taken care of. And I had cement handy. Do you know how difficult it is to have quick set cement handy? And I literally saved one bag. Normally, I would have been expended with all of the cement. But I had enough cement to take care of that and lock that thing in place that is so solid right now. Come on, 100 miles an hour. No, I, no, don't you dare come 100 miles an hour. You stay right where you are. 30, 45 miles an hour, we can handle. Oh, by the way, if many of you don't understand, uh, wind generator, the ones, I have a smaller wind generator. I don't have the large one. Those wind generators, when they get speeds at that, some of them break. And when they get speeds like that, I had another wind generator in New Mexico that that wind generator, because we had a huge gust of wind come through that valley, it disintegrated. I'm not joking with you. It didn't fall. It literally disintegrated. The whole thing just broke up all the blades, everything. The whole thing cracked, broke. The only thing, even the motor wasn't even sitting up there no more. So I know what that can do. And if it had tore a hole in the roof of that or broken a window or something, Lord have mercy. I am so glad that the insurance company I told you all about that was giving me a hard time, they canceled my insurance for my property back in 2022. Or was it? No, early 2023. Sorry about that. And I had to call them and they ignored me. They finally sent me a message saying, we sent you a check and you ain't cashed it. And I sent them a message. I already told you, fools. We go into court. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you my word. Hey, by the way, you know what? It feels so good to be loved. And this is the Manhattans. It feels. I'm sorry. To be loved by me. Oh, baby. You know? Loving me is all that's on my mind. Yes. And what? You, 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 you do? You want me to do what? You want to have me do what? Sit up here and tell these people about all this stuff? Okay, there you go. So let's get to the reason for this video. Ladies and gentlemen, there are people asking, do I have any groups? <laughs> Man. In a way, I have a group where we're talking about making money. Okay? I'm not joking. It's the trading group. Uh-uh. You're going to have to go and watch. It's called Choice. C-H-O-Y-C. YouTube it. Choice by Chris Unseen. C-H-O-Y-C. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know who Chris Unseen is, he's somebody who has two master's degrees. Okay? In finance. And he decided to create a formula for trading currency. Forex. If you don't know who, what Forex is, do your research. His formula works. We've been testing his formula for, what is it, November, December, January, <laughs> 90 days plus. And guess what? Not one person has failed using his formula. And now we're improving the formula by telling people how to use it effectively. Free training. 
free training. All you got to do is email the email address that's spoken of in the videos. Oh, you don't know? Oh, just type in C-H-O-Y-C in the Eon channel and you'll find out the email address and how to get a part of it. The training is free. But then when the people advance to the next group called the launch pad, because you don't just get in the launch pad. Launch pad is private. We ain't no movement or anything. We're teaching people how to make money, not earn money, create money, make money. Now, if you really want to understand what I mean by make money, go listen to the audio book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I promise you, you'll learn something. All right. Anyway, many people keep asking me about groups and all that. Ladies and gentlemen, I ain't got no group. That's the only group that I'm actually in actively with a group of people. There's already 200 people in that group, just 200, because we're private. We don't advertise to everybody else. Five days a week, we're talking about trading and other aspects of currency, including tax credits. That's right. We're talking about debt. We're talking about the economy. We are a all in all financial group. Why? Because... I traded for the first time. For the first time in this group, I traded for the first time in a demo account, demo account, but for the first time. Friday, from Friday to this Monday, okay, from Friday to this Monday, from the second to the fifth, ladies and gentlemen, the third and the fourth was a weekend. I didn't trade on the weekend. So in a 24 hour period, I made $212 on three trades. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Pat. This is my Benatar woman, okay? And I love me some Benatar. So y'all better get with it, okay? This is, we belong to the dark, we belong to the... Okay, y'all better, y'all better get with Pat, okay? Anyway, in that 24 hours, ladies and gentlemen, I was able to prove to myself that what Chris was saying on his videos is 100% possible. And now people are starting to understand and now people are starting to grow their accounts. Okay. It's been a little slow for some people because they weren't getting it at first. One guy from November until now, he's earned $1,000, but he has a better grasp of it now. And now he's about to convert that $1,000 into $2,000 by the end of this month. So it's not going to take him four months the next time. You feel me? And then after that, he can convert the $2,000 to $4,000 by the end of, or excuse me, by $5,000 because it will exponentially increase because it increases because of his trades. There we go. And then when March gets here, whoo -wee, the market will start to move a little bit faster. So anyway, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason for this video is I did a video yesterday, 10 minutes, no, it was 13 minutes long. I believe it was four, almost 14 minutes exactly. And it was talking about the best motion I've ever done. And it's not the words, ladies and gentlemen, it's the concept of the motion. It is universal. It can be used for getting people out of jail. No joke, because you go back and challenge their sentence with this motion. I haven't proofread it yet. So I gave it to you guys without proofreading. I ain't never did that before, ever. It could be used for mortgages. It could be used for debts. Because you're going into small claims court and you're telling small claims court, you got the right to a suit at common law. And it's got the laws from the 1800s that the Supreme Court says you have a right to a suit at common law. And the law says any suit where the value is greater than $20 and you already have the jurisdiction saying that you can only sue up to this dollar amount. So they already acknowledge that they are a common law court because what they said the suit is valued from up to $10,000 up to $6,000 and $7,500. They tell you what the limit is. So they tell you that there's, oh God, do you not understand? And you're bringing a claim against the judge or the agency or the company, anyone who has interfered with your right. You're bringing up the fact that Congress changed what gold was, what money was. You're putting the facts there. You're not using no stupid U.S. stupid code. You're using 
the law. You're using the congressional record to show what the intent of Congress was when they did all of this. And you're using Congress's own word to say that we are under military occupation. We're under military occupation in violation of the Third Amendment. They do not have the authority to quarter in your home. Hold on. Give me a second. Hold on. I think. Oh, there we go. Who go? Thank you, Google. Hey, 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 hey. I know, I know y'all know about this song right here. Drew Hill. Come on. You're taking everything from me. Time to get you in the under feelings. I feel my thunder coming. I not want you. You know, it don't have to be a thing, y'all. Wait, wait, wait. I know what I have to do. I have to pause, y'all. Hold on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. Let me make sure y'all recording. Okay. Now, this is the Third Amendment. Y'all pay attention to the Third Amendment. Look what it says. Hold on. No soldier shall, in a time of peace, be quartered in any house without the consent of the owner, nor in a time of war, nor in the time of war, nor in the time of war, but in a manner to be prescribed by law. Ladies and gentlemen, when they put us under military occupation, they did that by binding us, according to the congressional record, It doesn't matter if it's in a time of war or not. They literally say that. So they are doing something unconstitutional. Well, they say, well, they're not courted in your home. Yes, they are. Because our home is our property. They're interfering with our right to our property. Because now, pay attention, it will represent a mortgage on all the homes and all the other property of the people of the nation. That's what they said. So they're courted in our homes by the Trading with the Enemy Act. So it's a violation of the Third Amendment. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on. This this small claims lawsuit isn't so that you win on the arguments. Oh, God, no. It's you're saying I have a right to bring forth a complaint under these things. And whether I win or not is not the issue. I have a right to a trial by jury, not a stupid jury trial. Make promises, but no, my heart gets weak. And I get around you girl it makes me oh let, 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 look all right all right i'll stop <laughs> anyway ladies and gentlemen that document of what it achieves it covers every aspect of what a motion is supposed to cover it covers all the proof you need you don't even have to explain anything because it explains it succinctly it puts the words of the government it puts the words of the court It says that Congress and the president conspired against the American people. It says that you are not one of the people. Of course, you can't be one of the people. You could never be one of the people. You know who you could be? The posterity. Posterity, not posterity. Your posterior, we ain't talking about no posteriors because a lot of you are posteriors. Okay, a lot of you are posteriors. But we're talking about the posterity, the offspring of the people. Okay, You're the offspring of the founders of this nation. Congress was not the founders of this nation. They have led y'all to believe that the preamble is not part of the Constitution. That document explains what preamble means. It means introduction. Of course, it introduces the Constitution. Of course, it tells you what the intent of the people are. The courts understand what intent means. Okay, hold on. Oh, this is the stylistics? Okay. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know I saw him love you too. I'm so in love. I know I'm I know this song. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let me make sure y'all understand. You won't get it unless you movie star. 
you know he's going to be an overnight sensation, y'all. And he'll ride a big, expensive car. And, and you know what else he'll do? He would buy you anything your heart desires. And you know why he'll do that? Because he's so in love with you. You ain't heard this version, huh? This is the stylistics doing a live version of Stone in Love with You. Okay? Y'all know Stone in Love. And he, he'd be the first man on the moon. And, and he would... He, 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 he'd be sitting behind a desk and he would be successful. Okay? And, and you know what else he'll do? All right. I will go ahead and continue. Ladies and gentlemen, that document, because of what it covers, why it covers what it covers, get out of here, all of y'all. Sorry, I have a meeting and we are trading session starts at seven o'clock. And so I have to get to that. Uh, I have to get up from here. I'm still laying down. I've been up since five o'clock. Sorry, I think it was. I've been up since 524. Um, like I said, I got my rest. But it was an all right rest. That document, I have to go proofread. But I did some corrections yesterday. I was very tired. So I got an email from one knucklehead talking about the link didn't work. Now, I didn't check to make sure the link worked last night, ladies and gentlemen. So this is what I did. Hold on. We get rid of you, get rid of you, we keep you, we go here. Ladies and gentlemen, I went to the link. I went to my system, went to the link. This is the document. Okay? Now, remember, we put small claims court of record because the courts are supposed to be court of records. Okay? Just want to make sure you got that. Then you enry your name, a member of the posterity of the people. That's who you want to be. You don't want to be one of the people. The people are dead. You want to be there for ourselves and our posterity. You want to be the posterity. They can't say that you're not, and you don't have to prove that you are. You know what I'm saying? That's how that works. The estate of, and you put the all caps name. And look, those one to unlimited. <laughs> Man, you ain't got to put nothing else there because you're doing the bond and the insurance company. You're highlighting that throughout the thing. They said, this is a suit at common law. I do challenge the presumption that the Seventh Amendment ordained and established by the Constitution for the United States of America does not apply to this matter and the right to a trial by jury where the value exceeds that of $20, current market value. That's what you're doing. And then it talks about your right to petition for redress and how it is directly associated with reparations. And you have the right to reparations. And you're talking about redress as identified by the First Amendment of the Constitution for the United States of America. Speaks about just compensation. That it's you're entitled to it. You're not begging for it. You're not demanding it. You're saying you have a right to it. You're saying you have a right to bring the suit and they've been blocking you from bringing the suit. Then you talk about how they make you appear in their court and they make you enter pleas in their court. And you're saying, no, like I said, it covers everything. And if they took your property when they didn't have the right, if they brought you in the court and made you submit to their jurisdiction, that's what these sections are for. See these lines? You get to fill that out. Okay? You get to fill that out. Get to put the data in everything and put what you want to say. And then you don't have to touch the rest except for the proofreading. You don't have to add all that junk, that UCC bull... <clears throat> UCC is not law. It's never been law. All you got to do is put your situation in. That's why it's universal, ladies and gentlemen. No matter what you're going through, you take them to small claims court. If it's the county, if it's the city, if it's the treasury, if it's the Federal Reserve, you don't take the so-called public officials because they claim that they're immune. Okay, let them be immune. No, I'm taking your insurance company because this explains how they all have to have insurance. The Constitution maintains, guarantees, and ensures that all of these idiots have insurance. 
How do they, oh, this is, this document explains how the First Amendment requires them to have insurance. Okay? Y'all hear the song, Unconditional Love, right? Okay? This, hey, Donald Summers, you know how many people have redone your song? This, Donald Summers, ladies and gentlemen, man, I, 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 I heard this song before at least twice or three times. I never paid attention that it was Donna. This young lady who was the queen of disco. Man, the amount of stuff that they made her go through and the amount of stuff that they put her through and the amount of stuff that they made her do. Now, let me correct that. Not made her do because she was a grown woman. Okay? But the fact that they used her, abused her, and then threw her out like trash? Lord have mercy. But Donna, got a lot of respect for you, woman. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is just me letting you guys know that those of you who understand law and you understand what I just said, you're going to get that all in one document, how every situation, go to small claims court, ladies and gentlemen, that is your common law court. You just don't realize it. It tells you what the limit is. So it automatically lets you know that the controversy has to be for greater than. You follow me? And you're not suing for the value of anything. Keep value out of it. Keep the value of your house. Keep the value of your luggage. Keep the value of your ignorance out of the case. You're suing for the violation of your right to petition for redress agreements, that they blocked every access of redress. And they can't because the document clearly explains that Congress shall make no law abridging that right. It's right there in the First Amendment. And they did so when they implemented that stupid um, thing with Congress and the president of the United States when they implemented the March 9, 1933 Act. And if you pay attention, McFadden says the first section of the act amends what I perceive is the war powers given back in 1917. They tell you it's a military act. Ain't that something? And then Congress goes ahead and says, whether in a time of war or otherwise, excuse me, Congress didn't have the authority to put us under military rule, whether in a time of war or otherwise. Okay, that's what it says. Then it talks about those 470 laws that they implemented that violated your constitutionally secured rights. That they didn't, and it mentions the fact in 1973, Congress held that to be unconstitutional that they violated your rights unconstitutionally and it's an ongoing issue, ladies and gentlemen, y'all, small claims court. It don't cost much to get in the small claims court. Go to YouTube, watch the videos, how to be successful and win in small claims court. Type how to successfully win in small claims court or how to be victorious in small claims court or how to win in small claims court. Do any of those searches in YouTube. Watch those lawyers tell you how to win in small claims court. Then go to your small claims court, read over the simple rules. The rules are simple, people. Some of you get a jury, trial by jury, automatically. Well, no, sorry, I got to apologize. Some of you get a jury trial. The document highlights that you don't want a jury trial. You want a trial by jury. Now, look, if you have to appeal, it already gives you the points you're going to be appealing on. You follow me? You're going to be appealing on the fact that the court is gatekeeping, blocking your access to your constitutionally secured right to the court. It already has everything you need for appealing, and you're going to appeal. Watch that video. I told you how to do it. You appeal it. You appeal it all the way to the Supreme Court of the state. And after you appeal it to the Supreme Court of the state, you do a simple writ of certiorari. Writ of certiorari. You don't need to put all that junk in there. You just put the document. All of the issues that I need to be bringing up here, they're denying me the right to bring forth a complaint on these matters. They're denying me the right to seek a complaint on the insurance, to file a simple claim. I do have the right to file a claim, and they're saying, no, I don't. That's all you're bringing before the Supreme Court, whether or not you have a right to file a claim against their bond. Whew, man, told you. Some of y'all gonna get it. Some of y'all ain't gonna get it. The ones of you who don't get it, I'm sorry. The ones of you who get it, hey, may you have victory. Hey, gotta go, all right? That's Leela James, y'all.